Patients who are presenting with emergencies absolutely require hybrid OR. A hybrid OR combines state-of-the-art imaging technology uh, in the setting of an operating room. It's different equipment in the operating room so that you can do either a minimally invasive procedure or a major open procedure or a combination of both. Many teams converge in one room and really provide the care to the patient in one setting rather than have the patient move from room to room to be treated by different specialists. This is a phenomenal change in how we deliver service and of course it's the patient that benefits. We're doing these procedures now in rooms where the x-ray equipment is fixed on gantries and can't be moved. And if we have to convert one of those procedures because something's torn and now there's some bleeding and time is of the essence, we're kind of working over and around this equipment. In a true hybrid OR, the imaging equipment pulls right out of the way and gives us an open operating room with no compromise in how we can do our job. Recently, we had a patient who had a trauma in the abdomen and they were so unstable that they went directly to the operating theater. They had a very particular injury to a blood vessel uh, that is very challenging to access in the surgical approach. So we had to transfer the patient down to the CAT scanner, identify what the problem exactly was, and then bring them back up to the interventional suite. With a hybrid OR, we could bring those patients directly into the hybrid OR. We would avoid having the delay in the treatment, which is very dangerous for a patient who's already unstable. And in those sorts of cases, time is, is very, very important. Rapid access to care can mean the matter of life and death. Endovascular techniques in cardiac surgery can allow us to completely avoid sawing through the breastbone um, and do very large procedures all through very small incisions that allow the patient to recover a lot quicker with a lot less pain. We can't do that without the hybrid OR. To have that ability to do that, to have the technology do that, is crucial. It will continue to revolutionize how we deliver service. It's absolutely imperative that we have this technology, and it's absolutely imperative that we keep developing how we provide service to patients. It's necessary for the QE2 to have a hybrid OR. It allows us a pathway to the future, and it would get utilization across the spectrum of vascular, cardiac, orthopedic and other surgical procedures with absolutely excellent results for our patients. As procedures get more complex, hybrid operating uh, room capability is, is really a must. We don't need the hybrid OR next year or in five years. We need the hybrid OR right now.